I love festivals. And this was kind of early on in our career. We had really just started in 1979, you know, officially our first record. So this was still early and it was very exciting to do a festival with other bands. Well, I thought that was an amazing, I happened to be pretty good friends with to all of Talking Heads and also knew the Ramones quite well and had been already to numerous concerts for both of those bands. And I used to go see the Ramones and just, you know, dance, dance, dance. And I loved Talking Heads. And we opened for Talking Heads when we first started. My most vivid memory of it was we started to call it the Dust Festival because it was just so much dust. And it was so, so hot. And I remember we had this little dressing room area and we had a water cooler and I was so hot and there was just I don't think there's any running water and I took the water cooler and just poured it over me I just got naked and poured this thing over me and it was just so 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 incredibly hot I don't think I've ever been so hot I do think that the US festival the dust festival was very organized the coming in on the helicopters everyone had a little dressing room the stage and the people it was quite you know exciting event bigger than we've ever you know we had ever done the sound was great so it really laid the groundwork for you know the kind of high mark of festivals so I remember it being a very special performance we were probably nervous too and it added to the you know intensity they burned down the, uh, it was their day. It has to be said, the B-52s owned that day of the US Festival. I heard later that we really just rocked the house. I mean, our set was just supercharged, just we never stopped and the beats were really fast. And I think for that, you know, time, that kind of new wave, you know, punk music that was relentless. This was like a really special event. So it was amazing.